Now in this video, we'll talk about some of the access list rules, which we need to keep in mind when you are writing some ACLs. Now the first rule is ACL generally works in a sequential order. Now sequential order means uh, we, it is going to check the first statement. Let's take an example. I got some ACL rule here, which is configure. Then we configure that deny 1.1, deny 1.2, deny 3. Network and permit all the remaining. So whenever any packet enters, or let's say I have configured some ACL inbound on this, once it enters this particular interface, it's going to check the first statement. And if that particular statement do not match, if not matches, then only it is going to check the second statement. Now, if, if, if the second statement is also not going to match, in that case, it's going to check the third statement. And if the third statement is going to match, it's not going to check the fourth statement, it's not going to check the fifth statement. So when you're writing the ACLs, uh, it's really important for you to write in a proper sequence. Let's say if I'm going to write this permit any, instead of writing in the last, I'm going to write it as permit any. Now, when you define like this, if any packet comes here, probably it is going to match the first statement. And the first statement says that any means match anything and it's going to automatically permit all the traffic. Now we need to ensure that we are going to write the statements in a proper sequential order. Now it's going to check the first statement always. If that do not match, then it will check the second statement. If not matches, check the third statement. So this is really important. Let's let's take one example here. Like the first thing, it's a, it works in a sequential order. And the second thing is all the deny statements has to be given first. Uh, mostly preferable, but not in all the cases. Like take an example, I want to deny 192.168.1.1 and I want to permit all the remaining. So in most cases we write deny in the beginning and permit in the last generally but not in all the cases let's say if you have a requirement that you want to permit 1.1 and you want to deny the complete 1. network now i'm denying the complete network but i'm permitting only one network in this case if you are writing this order where you're writing deny first second statement is not going to work now the reason is when any packets come from 1.1 it is going to match the first statement which means 1.1 comes under the category of 1.0 network and it's going to simply drop the traffic and once it matches it's not going to check the second statement now in this scenario this is something wrong instead of this we need to say permit 1.1 and then we say deny 1.0 network now probably in most cases we use deny statements to be given first but not in all on all the cases and there's one more thing there must be at least one permit statement which is mandatory in any ACLs because by default whenever you apply any ACL on any particular interface by default, called it's going to deny all the traffic so it's going to deny all by default so we need to specifically tell what traffic should be permitted and we do not tell permit by default it's going to stop each and every packet so that's the reason permit is something mandatory we need to tell but default is not mandatory Let's take an example. I want to permit 1.1. I want to permit 192.168.1.2. And I want to stop all the remaining. So if I just say permit this, permit this, and then no need to tell deny, by default, all the remaining will be denied by default, even if you don't write this statement. So deny is not mandatory. Permit is uh, something mandatory. So if you want to permit any traffic, you must define a permit. And minimum, there should be at least one permit statement. Now the next tool is on one router interface, we can write two ACLs, one for inbound and one for outbound. So on one specific interface, we can have only one in one ACL for direction. So totally we can have two ACLs on one interface, one for inbound and one for outbound. And anytime, whenever you add any new entry by default, it is going to place in the bottom of the list. Like uh, let's go to the command line and verify this. Let's say. I got an access list. I think I have created one access list. The same basic rules which we did in the standard ACLs. Let's say if I want if I want to add any one line, if I say access list permit deny host 192.168.1.3, and if you if you write an ACL by default, it is going to add in the last. Now by default, it is added in the bottom, which means it is not going to work in this scenario because already we are saying permit any here. And once you say permit any, it is not going to check this statement and which means 1.3 will not be denied in this scenario. Now, if you want to make any changes to the existing ACLs, probably 
if you are not using named ACLs, we'll talk about named ACLs later on. You need to take this in a notepad file and you need to open up a notepad file and then copy them. And then we need to remove this and then paste it back on the next line. So this is how we can we can do editing of the ACLs in case of named ACLs. Sorry, numbered ACLs. In case of named ACLs, there is an editing option is possible. We'll talk about named ACL in a separate section. Now we cannot remove any one specific line from the ACLs. Let's say I'm going to let's I'll go to the command line here on the router one. If I want to remove any one specific line, if I give no automatically it is going to remove the complete ACL statement. Now you cannot selectively remove or add a specific line in general. Uh, that's something not possible. If you remove any one single line also, it will completely remove the ACLs. And if you want to make any changes, probably you need to remove the ACL and edit that with a notepad. That's something uh, what is required if you're using numbered ACL. We'll talk about named ACLs where we can do the editing that is possible in a separate section. But as of now, we are we are just going with the basic ACL statements where you cannot remove a one single specific line in case of normal normal ACLs. So anytime when you add an entry, it will be added in the last. And if you want to add anything in between, you have to use some notepad kind of uh, program text editor, which is highly suggested. Now we can have only two ACLs per interface. One ACL we can apply inbound and one ACL on the outbound directions. And there is one more rule that an implicit deny will drop all the traffic by default. Implicit deny means, let's say if I'm saying permit 1.1 and permit 1.2 and I did not mention any other thing. If a packet is coming from 1.3, it's going to match the first statement. If it's not going to match and it's going to check the second statement, it doesn't match. If no statement is going to match in that case, simply by default, it will drop. It will deny the traffic. So that's what we call as invisible statement or implicit deny we call it as. There must be at least one permit statement in order to ensure that you, you permit the traffic because by default when you apply any ACL by default it's going to drop or deny all the traffic. All the deny to be given first and preferably in most cases but not in all the cases. And ACL works in a sequential order. So these are the very important rules we need to keep in mind. Now, which is going to tell how it's going to work.